Ok. Bueno, pues eh, muy buenas tardes este, ya a todos. Este, vamos a, a cerrar con la última ponencia y, y el último día de, de charlas y ponencias que hemos tenido a lo largo de estos días. Eh, Vamos a, a tener un gran invitado, eh, Ulises Pérez, que ya muchos quizás lo conocen, y si no, algunos otros verán todo lo interesante que es eh, lo que, y lo que ha desarrollado en proyectos de transmedia. Y pues ahora sí que voy a, a presentarlo a Ulises. Eh, él es eh, productor de transmedia, eh, medios audiovisuales interactivos, aplicaciones inmersivas y animación. Originario del norte de California, en la costa oeste de los Estados Unidos, con casi 30 años de participación activa en la industria de los medios digitales en tres continentes. Obtuvo el grado académico de ingeniero en comunicación y electrónica eh, con especialidad en ele electrónica digital y programación por ob objetos además de contar con estudios de derecho con especialidad en propiedad intelectual. Es CEO de Intermedia Studios, estudio de producción de herramientas digitales para crear contenidos transmediáticos de alto impacto para todo eh, tipo de audiencia. En años recientes, Ulises ha producido y administrado diversos proyectos transmediáticos para... Eh, per, person, person, Pearson Global, eh, líder eh, mundial editorial, eh, Pearson International, desarrollador de resorts y hoteles eh, temáticos alrededor del mundo, y de Coca-Cola Company, que bueno, pues es, es ya más conocido, no, no podría ser, ¿no? Además de ser consultor y conferencista de, eh, para diversos gobiernos e instituciones educativas de nivel superior en temas como producción de plataformas y contenidos hipermediáticos, eh, producción de apps inter, eh, inmersivas y animación, diseño avanzado y animación de videojuegos, eh, narra, narrativa de universos transmedia y eh, formación empresarial, emprendimiento e innovación. Pues ahora sí que agradecer a Ulises, que, que está aquí con nosotros. Eh, su ponencia va a ser en inglés, este, pero pues pongan mucha atención porque nos va a dar muchos tips de todo esto de lo que es transmedia y todo lo que se tiene que vincular. Y bueno, pues él es un experto en esto. Muchas gracias, Ulises. Eh, y adelante. Estás con el público. Thank you. Thank you so much, Juan, for that very long introduction. Now I don't have a feedback, but I'm sharing a screen with you um, uh, regarding our, our situation right now. Uh, welcome to Intermedia Studios. To all of you, I know a lot of people are not watching this right now because you guys are hardworking on your on your projects. So go jammers. Uh, good luck, and uh, I, I wish you come out with some great projects. Um, I'd like to take a moment to to congratulate all of you that are staying home and staying safe. Uh, that's what we believe is the way we should be doing stuff. Um, so stay safe, stay healthy, and um, let's move on with this, okay? So um, I don't know if you're actually watching my, looking at my presentation right now, uh, Juan. Yes, okay. Okay. I see you in the little box, so don't worry. Okay, so uh, that said, today we're going to be speaking about transmedia convergence of application and their, com their commercial exploitation in the entertainment industry. During the past days, we've been listening to several interesting uh, conferences regarding um, startups, innovation, entrepreneurship, setting up your business, tips to pitch, tips to sell, and some other other areas, uh, uh, some other technical areas particularly. I, 
I chose when, when um, the university invited me to share this with you and Global Jam, Game Jam, by the way, which I thank for their invitation. Uh, they invited me to, I thought um, it would be interesting to talk about uh, transmedia convergence and how tra that transmedia convergence throughout the years um, has finally settled down into a uh, convergence culture. We're going to be talking about that, but also I have to give you uh, some pointers to start. Some of them you probably heard them in, in previous uh, conferences because they, they, this is what people are talking about in the business um, ecosystem. Okay, so um, this is a very simple presentation we're going to be looking at. Uh, um, I'd rather spend some time at the end answering questions regarding specific applications, if, if that's okay with you. Um, but for the people that are not online and that will see this later, watch this video later, um, these are some tools that might be very interesting for you, okay? So the first thing I'd like to do is check your understanding of transmedia. We all know because of classes, whoever has been my student in the past and whoever has not probably has read uh, what transmedia is. To understand transmedia, we have to understand what multimedia and cross-media is as well, okay? So multimedia, as we know, is using one or more medium of expressions for communication, okay, in order to create an art form. This is using audio, using coding, using animation, using modeling, music, etc., in order to create something. OK, that is what in multimedia is. OK, if we talk about cross media, cross media in the media in the media production area involves more than one communication platforms. What does this mean? This means that we take that multimedia production and we transmit it over TV, over film, over radio, online. And that content that you're sharing is the same content on different platforms. A simple example is that of that is being able to watch a Netflix uh, series at home. And then when you leave home and you get on the bus, you turn that same series you were looking at and you continue watching it on your phone. So you change the platform. And then when you get to your office, which you shouldn't do, you turn on your computer and you continue watching it in the small little window, right? So this is cross media. This is the same content across different platforms. Then comes the good one. I say it's a good one because that's what I'm into. Anybody who has developed content knows that the narrative or storytelling, which is a very common buzzword that, that we hear about recently, is uh, the, the media or information that um, in, invites the participation of the public and that seeks their, their integration in order to create with alternate versions of the content. This is what transmedia is. So transmedia basically uses the, the production, the multimedia production, it uses the platforms available and seeks feedbacks from the, from the users or even the same producers in other platforms in order to alter, to create an alternate information to share. The idea of, of, of having the population or the crowd change the narrative, that's what makes transmedia so powerful. And we'll talk a little bit more about that a little along the presentation. But I wanted to get some things like really straight right now, okay? So now that we understand what transmedia is and how important it is in what we're doing right now, for instance, you're, you are creating applications that have a storyline and that you want to connect to social media and probably want to build a, 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 um, a website. And you're not doing that right now. Obviously, you're doing your application. But uh, all of this is important for you at the end. And, and, and you're going to see why, OK? When we're creating applications, another interesting area is your budget, OK? Establishing a budget, but a real budget. I, I, I'm talking about a real budget, OK? Just as a, as a, a note, Last year, the game industry market brought in 180 billion across all platforms. That's consoles, that's uh, mobile devices, that's PC, and that's the, that's this huge cake that, that that we have here. Okay, okay? that's the game industry, um, the, the game industry pieces in there. The the budgets are divided, or I would 
choose to divide them in, in two types of budgets, okay? Which is the AAA budgets and the indie budgets. The AAA budgets is a budget that any studio has between 20 million and 50 million dollars. Anybody who spends between 20 and 50 million and up, obviously, is considered a triple A studios. These studios represent the top layer of the industry. If you talk about uh, the richest people in the world, the, the triple A studios would be the equivalent of the 1% on the top, okay? So that leaves all the rest of us in there as indie prospects, okay? But what does triple A really mean? Some people say it means it's a studio that absolutely astound, that uses absolutely astounding amounts of money. Okay? Others say that it's a studio that creates ace ass kicking amusement. I stay with a more conservative um, name, which would be it's a studio that uses a lot of time, a lot of resources, and a lot of money. So that's how I consider this being uh, the type of budget. If I talk, if, to be more graphic, and if we talk about budgets, that, you might ask why I put this little cake here. I told you this, it represents our industry. Actually, the plate here on the bottom represents our industry. The big cake, all the participants. The, the piece that's missing is that 1% of the triple A budget. The rest of the cake are the indies. And if you thought you were in there as a game developer, student, game development or start a company we, we we're not even part of that piece of cake we're the little crumbs on the plate that represent the, the game industry and not these crumbs on the plate probably this little crumb here that's outside of the plate and that we're fighting to get into the game industry that's what i think of when i think of new uh, students and, and 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 new startups trying to get in there in the in the in the industry Okay, so uh, once that we know who we are, what we need to do, the amounts we're going to need, I want to talk about a little bit about protecting yourself, okay? Protect, protect a bit about intellectual property. Things that you have to remember about what you're producing, okay? And there's three things that are very important right now that I want you to know and I want you to, 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 to take in. You can't own ID, okay? You have a very cool idea idea for an application or a game, that doesn't make it yours, okay? Because a million people could have that same idea. The idea is owned by the person that executes it and therefore registers it, which is my second point. To own it, you must register it. That means patent it. If it's a trademark, register the trademark. If it's a character, register the character sheet. Register all of your content and never, ever, ever in the world launch something that you don't own. If you don't have the rights for it, even if you drew it, if you still haven't registered it, don't launch it. Don't let anybody see it because there are people out there seeking intellectual property to use for their own purpose. I put two little examples here of how that, that uh, registering uh, system works in the U.S. and in Mexico and the amount you might uh, spend or invest in this area. Basically, in the U.S., for a trademark, you would spend 75 bucks for a patent between 6K and 12K. That's, this is dollars, okay? 6000 and $12,000. In Mexico, this is a, a lot cheaper. Your trademark should cost you around 2.5K, uh, 2,500 pesos, and your patent uh, around 10,000 pesos. Why am I talking about patents because a lot of you out there are coders a lot of you are out there are generating algorithms if you get to create something that is unique that is proprietary and that you did you are in the possibility of registering that as a patent and having everybody else pay you uh, you know royalties over that so protecting yourself is really important in your industry so now talking a little bit about more or transmedia convergence and how we're going to apply them. I want to really jump into it. You know what transmedia is, so what's next, okay? You understand the concept. You understand how important the storytelling is for your games. But the real secret is to make 
the entertainment industry and embrace transmedia storytelling as a form of creative production. I was talking to Juan, actually, out of camera before we start, um, about how the convergence and converge, convergence culture has become something very important in the, in, in the in latest years, okay? Uh, not only does transmedia offer producers new avenues for creative expansion, but it's imperative that they, that they trend be approached by a creative perspective. This means, as I said before, to add the population, to add your viewers, okay? To add the, on those platforms that you choose to use as transmedia outlets, that all of those users um, add up to your narrative. That is what's gonna enhance and enrich your transmedia storytelling. Okay, so I would say in my particular point of view that convergence or transmedia convergence, talking about the platform sense of it or the marketing or franchise part of it is consequential. That comes after. First, what you have to generate is that loyalty, is that return. And we'll talk a little bit about this right now in our next uh, sections. Okay, so I've been hearing about pitching. I've been hearing about uh, people uh, ask, asking for angel investors. I've been hearing about how do you do it to create, you know, revenue and to create that income or to come up with that money to produce your application. And I have these four uh, things that are crucial when you're in that, that, that point. Several of you that might watch this later on are at that point right now, okay? So something you have to do is show traction. And that means that your applications show traction. What do I mean by this, okay? The key to securing funding is to demonstrate meaningful return and traction to investors. When I talk of a of, of return, I'm not I'm not only speaking of ROI. When you go to and, and ask for some money, obviously the invent the investor is going to tell you, okay, what's my return? ROI is return of investment. But you should also be seeking uh, ROE, which is return of engagement, which is all the people out there playing your game or your small community have it engage and grow and share and generate content that allows them to find your application more interesting, okay? This is what's important to investors, okay? This is really important. So don't leave that aside and don't think, I don't need to be on TikTok. Even, the, I mean, millions of types of information is being shared on TikTok, not only crazy dances, okay? And, and that's hot right now. So take advantage of that. Whatever it is you're developing and is registered and is showable, try, start to create a backstory for it. Gain some, some, some likes, gain some followers. Have, the, have your application be, be renowned and known, at least in certain areas. I would say that the areas that you're interested in, storming onto, okay? Another thing that you have to be really on the watch is spotting trends. What's today's thing, okay? By forward thinking, you can enter regions early and benefit from the developing market. But also there's a tech. What do I mean with those regions? A, a lot of people are generating, there was back, I remember some years ago, and not to criticize, but I remember some years ago, a, a, an application in Mexico that was launched about making tacos and was extremely popular and made some people very rich. Obviously, obviously, obviously a hit, okay? But they are very locally focused, okay? Yes, you look at other markets, look other ways, look other ways. Southeast Asia is an interesting market. China, uh, Vietnam, um, um, all of these areas, very overpopulated, are critical mass, and they can help you in your, in your search for followers and, and users that at the end will be monetized and, and turned into money, okay? But it's not only the Southeast. My invitation here today, and I've been saying this for some time now, for some time now, and um, we've taken advantage, just personally, our company has taken advantage of those, uh, of those uh, markets. Look south, south of the border, in South America, Central and South America, there's a, a captive market, market there that speaks the, the Spanish language and that you could get to, and then it might be interesting in what you have to offer besides tacos. Okay, there are, I've been I've been looking at some amazing productions throughout throughout these days of the global game jam, um, in different parts of the world. Which, by the way, I should say uh, right now that we broke the internet in India, 
okay, their Discord uh, uh, application just broke down. So because of everybody using the net and everybody looking at us on our presentations. So that was good. Congratulations, Global Game Jam. So besides those markets, there's the tech. And what do I mean with this? Try to think ahead of what's coming up. Keep up with trends, something we've been pushing for years now and that has finally got to a point uh, where it's starting to come to his youth. I can't say mature, but youth is AR and VR. Whoever knows me and knows our company knows that we're very into AR and VR and that's what we what we push and that's what we develop for, for certain markets. OK, there's a lot of new stuff coming out in, 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 in AR, VR and, and AI and the faster you get to that information being part of your general culture, the easier it's going to be you to adapt to whatever technology or to whatever new uh, application comes out for, for, for anything, for meeting. We've been using for years Skype, for years, okay? Then this happened to us. OK, the pandemic. And it turns out that a lot of other applications started popping up. Right. Uh, teams, um, Zoom. And suddenly these companies were worth millions of dollars because of the situation. So think forward when you can in order to to advance yourself in whatever it is that you're producing. OK, I use the game. I use, the, I use the, the word here games because uh, whoever knows me knows that we build games, but we, we build serious games. OK, so there's a lot of type of games. I know that's not what you're producing, but I won't get into that right now. I'd rather move to my next point that says know when to ask for money. I've been listening to several ideas and several ways that other uh, 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 people have been telling you here on, uh, on conferences regarding how to gain money and crowdfunding investors, how to pitch. And all of that is, is very valuable and it's very true. OK, but what I think is most important is to know when to ask for that money. And when I say when, I don't mean at what time of the year. I mean that when your company needs it. OK, identifying when to pitch for cash is an art form. I listened to um, I think he was Osvaldo uh, some days ago when he was talking about pitching. And that's an art form as well. Knowing when to pitch is as important as knowing how to pitch. OK, when to sense. That the, the, the moment is right for, for your company or your small studio to get into looking for outsiders to invest in it, okay? That is really, really important. I would suggest that before you do that, use a alternative sources of funding. Uh, just a, a while ago, Mauricio was talking about crowdfunding and Kickstarter and stuff like that, okay? Before you pitch to the private sector, my suggestion is that you get some income from other areas outside of it. I don't know. It's not it's not what we do as a company, but uh, but government funding. There's a lot of uh, uh, discussions out there about government funding. I believe in Mexico right now. You have you're having complications with with um, with those programs being stripped out of, uh, of, of, of of law. But there are other ways to get in there. I, I suggest you investigate, you document yourself and you get into identifying what there is out there in the in the public sector before you jump into the private sector, because that is what destroys company. Getting investors before or ahead of time can kill your co your company, your startup. OK, so um, that's regarding money. OK, but build a quality team is very important as a company, as an investor, as a producer. Investors tend to invest in people and the companies, not the products you're selling, okay? A real investor that wants to invest in you rarely looks at what you're designing, okay? So don't break your heads out there. That doesn't mean that they don't value it, okay? Or in my case, I, it's not that I don't value it. It's that that's not what's important for an investor. An investor doesn't care how a little character jumps in a game. An investor wants to know if that jump generates income and return. OK, so you have to concentrate, concentrate 
as much as you do with your mechanics and, and your animation, your audio, your music, your story, you have to think about how it will impact your investor. How will it impact your in-application in purchases, which is what drove, I don't know, it was like uh, from that number that I told you, that $180 billion last year, about two-thirds of it what came from in-purchase, from purchase in-app purchases, okay? So that's, that's astounding, okay? That's it really, really impacting that people are spending a lot of money on, on apps and on the internet now. Mauricio was saying it a while ago, how people have changed their business. I mean, we know it because we do it. We create platforms. That's one of our areas of, of business and quotes and, 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 and clients asking us to help them get onto the internet with internet e-commerce solutions. That's what's, what's bang right now, okay? That's what's, everybody's doing that because nobody could get on the street. So it's so important to understand that investors invest their money because they want to make money, okay? Uh, it's sometimes you find that investor that's passionate about gaming and he puts his money in, into your, your project, but that's not normally the type of invest, investor that you want. You want an investor that understands your business plan, which by then you obviously, obviously should have, that understand what his return will be and how he could reinvest at a point where he becomes a constant partner with you, okay? So be sure to surround yourself when you talk, by, when I talk about this and I talk about teams, be sure to surround yourself by the right people, but also say goodbye to others. I know you guys are very passionate students, some of you right now, and you uh, you have a group with your buddies and, um, and you don't wanna leave them and you see yourself creating a studio a very romantic studio where you all work together forever and ever. But that's not always the case of, of, of case study success stories, okay? Um, some stories are really important because the right person left the team at the right time. I mean, you know a huge story about that, Apple. Everybody's speaking about Apple and uses it as an example. Even the owner at one point was kicked out of the company because he was too damaging to the company. And only then did, did Apple regain its power again. If that hadn't happened, who knows what would have happened with Apple, okay? So be very, very keen on who you, who you integrate into your team because investors look at people. They're interested in, in how people are, on how they, they interact, on how they program, not technically, but humanly. That's really something very important, okay? So building a quality team is key to achieving that convergence culture goal that any company needs, not only wants, should want, but needs in order to be successful. All of those AAA studios have converged in different areas because of, the, of listening to the platform, listening to the people. You have to stop when we're talking about production, stop with egos, stop with, um, with uh, this game is my work of art. I mean, no offense, it's just a game, okay? It's cool that it looks cool, but when, if you wanna make money out of it, it's not all about it being cool and pretty, okay? I know a lot of people don't like me for that. I'm known for that. For, from, from my view of gaming and how I see it as an industry, which is why I'm here and why they invited me, I guess, to give you this little um, other perspective. So I, I invite you guys to, to converge, to use your applications and use your feedback from your, from your traction uh, population, users or followers, to create uh, trendy apps and, and that get cooked up at a point where you can make that jump onto the plate of the cake. And here I'll go back to the plate of the cake, which was here, okay? Everybody wants to get on that plate. Everybody would wish to be a piece of the cake, but right now we're tiny little crumbs on the bottom 
some of some of us might be outside of the industry still. We're still studying, and this is what we want to do. And we will do anything to jump on that plate. Do that by using transmedia convergence and making it something common in any application that you build. Okay, so that's pretty much what I have to say to you today. Our my my, my participation uh, with the information isn't really that long. I'd rather spend some time answering any question that anybody might have. And, and to that, I put this quote here. Uh, the best questions are the ones I know the answer to. So just ask me questions that I know how to answer, please. Thank you so much. Juan, I don't know if there's somebody out there interested in what we're talking about. Yeah. Uh-huh. Que dice, the film, the film industry, industry uh, we, are we are recommend, recommend that, that if we, we can, can uh, cannot register of piece of work, um, for example, an script, we send, send it uh, to ourselves, sale it, uh, and date it uh, through mail. Uh, would that work uh, within? this industry to secure our ideas? Okay, um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm turning this way because I'm actually reading the feed over here okay. on, my, on my other computer. Um, okay. Eduardo, thank you for your question. Uh, this is an interesting question. It comes from the film uh, industry. We are gonna answer them even though you're not a game jammer, okay? So, so don't worry. As an attorney or as an into intellectual property uh, person, that doesn't work. What I'm sensing is that that doesn't work in Mexico, okay? Because uh, the institute that regulates that, which is IMPI, needs you to physically turn in the documents. What I'm trying to understand here is that if you send it, seal it, and date it, does that work as registering? No, you can't. You can't. And, and, and until it has the seal of IMPI, which is the Pro Intellectual Property uh, Institute in Mexico, until then, it's it's classified as 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 set in or turned in. They have to seal it as turned in. So um, that doesn't work here. There's uh, something really interesting about INPI, which is the proper name is um, the Mexican Institute of Intellectual Property. Okay, I want to say their name correctly because I have friends there and I don't want them to hate me. Okay, so. Um, the, the good thing that's happening with MP in Mexico is that um, you could do almost everything online now. So you don't have to go to, as before, to to stand in line. And with the pandemic, that even got worse or better, however you, you want to take it, you know? Better because you don't have to do it. You don't have to send the, 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 send the documents and you don't, better than, or more important than all, you won't fall in the hands of, these coyotes that are outside of MP wanting to register stuff for you, promising that that they'll help you do it faster. Okay, don't fall for that. That's a lie. Okay, everybody gets in line at the same time, and everybody is 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 served at the same time. Okay, so thank you for your question, and no, thank you, um, thank you for being here, Eduardo. Okay, okay. También dice Eduardo, thank you so much for this uh -huh. master class. It, it was a great and I'm thank, thankful for it. Entonces, bueno, pues es parte de los comentarios. Eh, y bueno, pues, eh, pues ahora sí que agradecerte, eh, Ulises, por, por este... Eh, ah, que pone no problem, thanks for the information. Y este, if you need, oh, sorry to interrupt uh -huh. you. Sorry to interrupt no, you. Thanks. If you have more, inf if you need more information regarding any of this, you can uh, actually contact me uh, mm -hmm. directly. I have a Twitter feed, which is uh, at Ulysses underscore Perez. That's my Twitter handle. Uh, you can look me up on Facebook or look the company up, which is Intermedia Studios, on Facebook or all social platforms or our website, intermediastudios.com. And um, We'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Personally, I'll be happy to do it as well. Um, you have my Twitter handle now, so you could just uh, look me up there, send me a message, uh, 
I'll be glad to answer anything that that you need, Eduardo. Okay, even if it's not about games. Okay, I'm not only about games. That's something important. Everybody should know that watches this. Okay, I'm into games, but more into serious games. That's what I jumped into as a as a professional. And um, well, we've been happy in doing what nobody else wants to do. That's what I tell everyone. All of uh, all the rest of the gamers want to make games that shoot stuff and kill zombies. We we like to make our games a little bit different, but but at the end, it, there are application, there are monetized, and that's the idea of this. So I hope that you find all the information here useful. And um, if you have any comment, feel free to to send me a little tweet there. I'll be I'll, I'll be glad to answer you. Juan, thank you so much for your invitation. Thank you to Carlos Ulloa in post that's done that's been doing a great job. I feel like I'm on ESPN or something like that. So <laughs> it looks really great. And thank you to Go Global Game Jam for giving us the opportunity as producers to share a little bit of experience and knowledge and, and of the problems we've had in the past. Okay? So thank you. Thank you for, for having me. No, no. Gracias a ti, Ulises. Digo, al final dice también Eduardo, cool thanks. Este, bueno, que, que, que gracias. Y este, y bueno, pues agradecerte por este espacio y por toda esta información que nos eh, brindaste el día de hoy y que pues es muy útil para pues todo esto que, que se está desarrollando para la Global Game Jam y estos proyectos. Y también, bueno cómo se está viviendo eh, en esto de la industria del entretenimiento y lo que se requiere también en muchas de estas ocasiones, ¿no? Pues muchas, muchas gracias, eh, Ulises. Este, eh, esperemos pronto tenerte también en otra en ponencia, ¿no? A lo mejor ya más general, porque, bueno, pues algunos... Este, eh, hashtag, tienen... hashtag conver convergence culture. Hashtag transmedia, hashtag become the story, okay? Okay. Become the story. <laughs> to tell the story, you have to become the story, my friend. Okay, okay. So have a good one. Uh, igual, igual. Y pues oh, oh, ahora sí que... no. One uh -huh. last thing. I promise it's okay. the last thing. Okay. Good luck to everybody who's producing your games. I know you've been having a hell of a week. I know that you have no sleep. I know that that's why nobody's watching us right now because everybody is finishing their projects. But good luck to all of you guys. I hope to see your productions tomorrow. Um, I'd love to, to, to see them and, and, and see how far you've come. I've been looking out at other productions from around the world throughout the week and I'm really impressed with, with, with what some studios are doing and people are doing. So have a blast, enjoy it. Uh, this didn't exist when I when I used to to code this type of thing. Well, what can I say? The internet didn't exist. Okay, I know you think I'm younger, but I'm not as young as I look. Okay, <laughs> so there was no internet when I was coding. Um, I hope you have good luck and and you 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 make super projects. And and if you want to share them, you could also share them on our platforms, and I'll, we'll be happy to look at them, review them. And maybe there's something in there interesting. We could we could co-produce. I don't know. There's an offer. You, sí. I bet you didn't get. I bet you didn't get an offer from any of the other people that would gave conferences, Juan. <laughs> so there's an offer. Okay. Yeah, Send us your. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, pues, digo, es es un gusto y es un honor. Ya sabes, este, oh, tenerte no. y, y y bueno, pues ya sabes, también eres de de aquí de la casa, siempre es un gusto que nos des estos tips y estas cosas que tú ya tienes una experiencia de muchísimos años y que pues a, a los alumnos y a muchos de nosotros nos hace falta eh, pues a seguir aprendiendo y viendo más cómo, cómo crecer, cómo eh, crear y, y generar estos proyectos, ¿no? Entonces, pues bueno, muchas, muchas gracias Ulises y y bueno, pues ahora sí que agradecerles a todos este, por esta, eh, esta serie de pon ponencias y charlas que hemos tenido, este, que han sido muy buenas y digo, qué mejor cerrar con, con Ulises, 
con todo esto de, del transmedia. Y, y, y bueno, pues ya, ya ahora sí que tuvieron esta serie de, de pláticas que les va ayudando a cada una de las áreas de sus... Eh, o, o pro, partes del proyecto de, de la Global Game Jam, pues ahora sí que les toca seguir este, haciendo sus este, proyectos, terminarlos. Acuérdense, ya varios, ya eh, les he comentado que, bueno, pues ya este, tanto tengan su equipo, sus integrantes que se inscriban, si por ahí faltaba alguno, bueno, pues eh, hacerlo. Y mañana domingo este, publicar, eh, su videojuego a las 3 de la tarde vamos a tener la ahora sí que la presentación de proyectos eh, digo si bien ya se los he comentado varios de ustedes este y pues bueno ya sea por discord o por este whatsapp no se les olvide subir sus proyectos y presentarlos hagan una pequeña presentación y bueno pues ahora sí que mañana estaremos concluyendo a las 3 de la tarde eh, aproximadamente para ver sus proyectos, cómo les quedaron, eh, todo ese esfuerzo que hicieron en todos estos días. Y adelante, perdón, sí, Ulises. I hope, I hope Discord is back up in India because ah, sí. we, cra we crashed it this morning. So um, I hope that doesn't happen here in Mexico. Actually, I do. That means that everybody's online looking at us. But um, yeah, I hope they're, they're up and running again. Hi to all of the people at Global Game Jam over there, who are always so nice. Sí, no, eh, digo, es un dato interesante, sí, ¿no? Y, es, y, y pues bueno, a ver qué tal, esperemos que no pase en México, pero bueno, <laughs> <laughs> pero sí, en, no, India, bueno, pues no se diga, no son de no, los... No, yeah, it's okay, así. it's okay if it happens in Mexico, that means that we have coverage, <laughs> and that means that everybody's looking at us, okay? Eso sí. We have coverage, coverage. Exacto, sí, no, pues ahora sí que eh, qué mejor que haya ese flujo de trabajo, comunicación y que pues en esta nueva modalidad, ¿no? O, o normalidad también que nos dice el gobierno, pues hay que adaptarnos a esto de las eh, en línea y bueno, pues ahora sí que eh, digo cualquier cosa vamos a seguir aquí en comunicación. Eh, y bueno, los esperamos ver la, el día de mañana, este, pues a todos los, los integrantes y, y todo, bueno, que, que sigan participando, trabajando, y el día de mañana, bueno, ya a ver sus presentaciones, acuérdense que tiene que ser un jefe o representante de, de equipo, y, este, y tengan su presentación, este, digo, que sea breve, tampoco no se extiendan, y, este, y bueno, pues veremos ya mañana sus resultados y bueno, pues desearles mucho éxito a todos los que están haciendo la Global Game Jam en la Guerrero SUSEQ y, este, y todos los que están pues, como espectadores y viendo, pues eh, invitarlos también a, a ver los proyectos y los trabajos que vayan desarrollando ¿no? el, el día de mañana que ya se publicarán poco a poco los van a ir subiendo los chicos y pues bueno, pues agradecerles a todos, eh, Ulises nuevamente gracias y, y gracias a todos los ponentes que estuvieron todos estos días acompañándonos este, porque bueno, son de primer nivel, eh, son gente que ya está en la industria, son gente que ya tiene una trayectoria y muchos años trabajando y no por algo, bueno, pues están donde están, ¿no? Gracias y eh, principalmente también Carlos eh, por toda la transmisión y todo este proceso que, que se llevó, que no es fácil, este, tuvimos que hacer algunos eh, ajustes, cambios de, de incluso de, de, de plataformas este, para que se pudiera este, poder ver me, mejor en, en Facebook y bueno, y muchas otras cosas, ¿no? Gracias y bueno, pues nos vemos el día de mañana ya en su clausura. Gracias. Congratulations, Juan. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Awesome. You've done, you, you guys have done an awesome job. Oh, gracias, gracias. An awesome job. Okay. It was, it was great being with you and to everybody watching this. Have a good one. Take care and become the story. Bye. Bye, bye. Y, y gracias, Carlos. Te digo nuevamente, sin ti no se podría haber llevado desde el primer Global Game Jam, ¿no? Pero bueno, esta transmisión ha salido gracias a parte de ese esfuerzo. Bueno, pues eh, mucho éxito eh, y nos vemos hasta mañana.